So let's get into your first three homework assignments for section one. Homework assignment number one, you're gonna get used to trading view, mess around with the time frames, the tools it has over here for drawing. Um, you can favorite them. That's how I have this hot toolbar up here. You can mark out positions for practicing trading, kind of getting a visual representation. And you wanna also mess around with placing orders. Just click down here and then get in a paper trading account. And then you could start placing orders. We could be in here. We could do a stop loss, take profit. We could put the take profit here. Stop loss, we could put down here. Now that's a horrible risk management system. Usually you wanna risk less. We could do something like that, right? It's a proper risk to reward. Homework assignment number two is gonna be messing around with correlated markets. Now what we can do, we could add the DXY on to this one. So because the market's closed, uh, we don't have any dollar data to overlap over here because crypto runs 24 seven. Let me go to a higher time frame. So you can see the correlation. Usually this is going down this dropped down, but then it recovered first, right? And as this started going down, that's when this melted. It's now flatlining and dollars trying to catch up. So for the most part, they have a, a negative correlation. They do the opposites, but sometimes they get caught doing the same thing. So a better example, I like to do E-mini and compare it to the dollar. These are pretty inverse for this most part. This starts going up. Once we get crossed over here, dollar starts fading away. And that's when the E-mini gets some strength and starts running away and the dollar keeps dropping lower. So mess around with this, search correlated pairs, negative correlated players, and that way you can kind of visually see how they react to each other and you can start using them in your markups another example we'll put the euro, euro uh euro dollar on here do the opposites right so this is almost a mirror image so you can see when one starts doing the opposite you could tell they both start turning at the exact same time so these are pretty much a mirror image and when they don't line up you know something's coming homework number three is going to be marking up liquidity and seeing how price reacts to it. So let's go to a higher time frame, uh, like a daily. It'll be easier to see, or we could do the four hour even, and just start marking up swing points. Okay, that one hasn't got hit yet, right? Where's the next one? Here, this got taken out. Look what happened when it got taken out. Started going the other way. Swing point here. Took it out, got a little pump. Reason for these little pumps to happen, people find this as support, they're getting in buys, and then boom, takes them out again. They find that as support, boom, takes them out again, then starts running. People saw this as resistance, guess what? Boom, took them out, starts running down. They see that as support, Guess what? Ran off, boom, took them out. Now the opposite. Where do you think price is likely to go? Well, if it doesn't take out this area or down here, the next point is likely to go up here. Take this out, take that out, take that out, and then maybe it goes back down. Or if we continue up, taking out this area, we could take out this area and we can even take out this area because a lot of people think they're safe or they think that's a breakout and they're going to buy it then. They're going to wait till it runs all the way up here or break out and then buy. So take time, set these up on your charts, just get a flow of price and see how it reacts to these areas. There really is no support and resistance. It likes to take it out even if, if it is support they're going to go through that and then back up this was resistance it went through that came back 
then we went down. So you're not safe with these lines. I just want you to understand how price likes to run to these areas. And this is all going to make sense later in this course and as well as in the advanced trader course. So please spend time doing your homework, go through all the data. As far as back trading, we will let you go. If you just keep scrolling, you'll find the end eventually. Boom, right here. On the four hour, I could go back to January 4th, 2016 and start marking up. Look, boom, took it out. Uptrend, boom, took it out. Boom, failed, took these out. Boom, took that out. Then we shifted, took that out. You can see how the market fakes you out and then does its intended run. We'll, we'll go into how you could kind of get an idea of how to know when this is going to happen. But for now, stick to these first three homework assignments and really get to know the markets. And we'll see you in section two.